The last video on my channel, dedicated to this topic, interested a large number of people. I will post a link to that video in the comments below the video. If you haven't seen it, be sure to do so. Part of the audience was skeptical that the age of the Soviet find, namely the Tissel Princess, is about 800 million years old. I took on a subject that could be called a legend. But there are such legends that make you think because they have a lot of historical facts, or there are eyewitnesses who have encountered this or that phenomenon. Why have I turned to this topic, and why do we want to reveal the mysteries of such legends from time to time? The story of the Tissel Princess is discussed on the expanses of the internet and is even discussed on television. This time we decided to ask the head of the Center of Regressology for help. What is regressology or regression therapy? Regressology, regression therapy or work with the past memories is a science which studies psychic processes of the unconscious and psychological influence of unconscious memories on the current life. Regression therapy is currently accepted worldwide and is used as an effective tool of self-discovery and development. So why are we interested in the Tissel Princess? Certainly there is also the Altai Princess, there is the Chinese Princess. There is a tomb of the daughter of the Roman figure Cicero. They all have the same contents of the tomb and the sarcophagus. And someday we will look at these as well. But today our gaze is directed to the Tissel Princess. The story of the discovery of the Tissel Princess dates back to 1969, when a miner, Ivan Karnakov, came across a coffin with a woman sleeping in it. Discovered in the mine, lying in a marble sarcophagus, the woman clearly confirmed the fairy tale character about the sleeping beauty waiting for his prince. Yes, in the folklore of various countries there is such a character as a sleeping princess. Except that the woman lying in a sarcophagus was not a fairy tale. Although, who knows, maybe the Tissel princess served as a prototype for the sleeping princess in folklore, so, today's video will be based on questions and answers. Question, ask the question within yourself, can we get information about the Tissel princess through you today? Yes. Question, what is the origin of the girl herself? Who is she, European, human earthly or non-human, what do we call alien beings? You can't say unequivocally that she is of earthly origin. It's a girl, she's, it's as if she's lived between different worlds. Our reality liked it and she decided to stay. Such an impression that she was different, that her genetic makeup changed, and she took on the appearance of such an earthly person. She was a different kind. Question. Did she really exist? I am not given a clear understanding of its existence. They tell of a legend that a race might have arrived that decided to build a home for itself on our planet. And so this princess was of those. Question. So if another civilization arrived, then the Tissel princess really existed? Yes. Question. What can we learn about this race? This race still exists, it has gone to another plane. The conditions of our planet were conducive to the moving to another plane. That race sought habitat on different planets. Their peculiarity was that they could change their genetic structure, adapting to the conditions of life on the planet that suited them. They were tall, with white skin. It was as if somewhere they lived on another planet outside the solar system, and before they stayed on our planet, they took pieces of it and experimented with something like it. Something they tried to get, something they got, and something never materialized. This was done in order to adapt to our planet. At the time when they were relocating our planet was actively evolving, the vibrations were very high, and everything was going to go even higher. For a moment the planet stopped developing, and they too slowed their development, froze, turned into sleepers. Question. What was the purpose of the arrival, why did it happen? Here they came to Earth, what did they want here on Earth, which had no life at the time? What was on Earth then and what was their attraction to Earth? The age of the find is miscalculated. Not exactly the age that the official source says. In our planet, where there were underlying structures, there was an opportunity to obtain something from which to draw resources for further organization, including adapting oneself for further existence on the planet. Question. Do we understand correctly that they were interested in the planet not only in what was on the surface, but they also needed what was inside the planet? Yes, they had the ability to get something out of the depths. I'm shown that they didn't have any technology. It's not a technique, it's the level of some five-pointed beam with which to get out whatever they needed. The kind of understanding, like technique in our world, they had nothing like that. They had everything in rays. And these rays are at the palm level of a five-pointed star. The rays were not straight, but at an angle. From the center of the palm they could send rays and for communication. But not all, though most had this ability. The princess was one of a select few. She is someone of the very high, of some special kind. If you take a human, she was much older in biological age. Q. 
You mean older than 30 years old, as the sources say? I'm told that if you translate by age, she could have been in the neighborhood of 40 to 45 years old. Q. When they were exploring the Earth, what exactly were they interested in in the center of the planet? There is still some substance or substance in the center of the Earth that still has, as we understand it, limitless possibilities. That is, this ability to adapt, to change their genetic code, to regenerate they needed this resource. A resource for unusual reincarnations. Question, so it turns out that there was already something on our planet Earth back then that had to do with the genetics of us humans and something that could change our DNA? Yes. Wanda, and this race is not, as you said, from the solar system and they exist at the moment? Wanda, yes, they still exist now. They were originally in other bodies, and now their bodies are like a transparent shell. Something human-like, but transparent. Q, it came to me now that it's a gel body. I don't know why exactly gel body. Does this race have a name? Can we understand as the name of this alien race? Somehow it's a, but I don't know where this race lives. I am told that they very rarely visit our planet. The last visit was 300 years ago. Question, 300 years ago according to our Earth time? Yes. Question, let's go back to the princess herself. She was one of the expedition that visited planet Earth. And why did she stay in this thick coal? Why did they fly away and leave her behind? What happened here? She is not the only one, there are others, but they have not been found by humans. Q, can they tell us which places there are others? There is one more in the south of Russia. There's another one in Western Europe. In the area of Switzerland, there's another location. Question, are they exactly the same as the Tissel Princess? They are a little different, they all have different tasks. But the principle itself, yes, they are members of this race. I look on the globe, and they show me, and tell me, that there are many such tombs in the Atlantic Ocean. They rest in the depths of the ocean, but each sarcophagus is very heavily protected. It is a coincidence that the Tissel Princess was found. Q, you say the sarcophagi are protected. Can they explain to us what this liquid is that the sarcophagus was filled with? They don't talk about protection in the sense of the contents, but in the sense that sarcophagi are very difficult to find. They have an invisible shell that makes it impossible to locate burials. Q, the sarcophagus itself has been found and broken into. Eyewitnesses described the appearance of the princess, the liquid the woman was in was a bluish pink color. There was also a black object in her head. This liquid, it was some kind of glaciers from our planet. Into these glaciers was added something that came from the center of our planet. That's what could change genetically, adjust, very quickly incarnate. There was something else in that liquid, but the basis was the glaciers and that substance from the heart of the planet. But what it was, I'm told, was their knowledge and the technology that this race possessed. Q, so they can't explain the exact composition of the liquid to us, our knowledge doesn't allow us to understand it. What is its magic? It's not very easy to understand right now. There was something in this liquid that could be taken out with a ray, something that is still there now. This substance had the ability to change the genetic code and help reincarnate. I am told that originally the bodies had a different appearance, and this liquid changed the appearance of the aliens so much that they became human-like. Q, that was my next question, about appearance. And separately it was noted that her eyes were open, and they were blue in color. Blue eyes are peculiar to earthlings. It was so as a result of exposure to the fluid. There are burials in sarcophagi in the Atlantic, but they were there over time, originally they were on land. But in those burials are men who have dark eyes. Question, everyone who has touched physically with this story has all died. And they all had interesting deaths. Even the eyewitness who told the story and about the expeditions that went to the sarcophagus, they all had to die strange deaths. One, who never drank at all, got drunk and died, someone froze to death at home. Only eyewitnesses remained who had not seen with their own eyes, but had only passed on by word of mouth. And think what will happen to a person who touches something and begins to change his vibration very quickly? Any person who comes into contact with strong vibrations will change irreversibly. Those people started to change a lot, but the body itself and the psyche couldn't take it. Question, the body vibrations of the people who found the princess began to change, and we know that the aliens came to Earth to take a substance that changed their DNA, and something was like a mutation in their genetic plan? The ones that discovered it? Yes. They didn't have the mutation start to show up right away. It wasn't a strong change. The human race is very strong, there's a DNA code that's quite stable and powerful capable of withstanding a lot. With all that said, the planet itself has strong vibrations and thus protects its creatures. 
but at the same time, the bodies couldn't withstand the change of rising vibrations and began to use what was not inherent in them originally. Those who ended up in the field had to do with the secrecy of the facility and it soon to be moved to the laboratory and there too, sudden deaths occurred to the people who were working. Question. The alien was very different, she changed her appearance under the influence of the substance of the planet. But then how do you understand her clothes, that lacy translucent dress? Is it just clothes, or is there some secret in there? Yes, there is a secret there. The dress was left untouched on purpose. It had to have the genetic code that the alien originally had. It speaks of some kind of protection, that protection, so that nothing could happen to you. The word protection in the universe has a more global meaning. In people's understanding, it's protection from some kind of change. There were codes on the dress itself, in the fabric itself, that they tried to decipher. Let's summarize all of the above. So, we learned that the Tissel Princess was of alien origin. These aliens came to Earth back when the Earth was sparsely populated by living beings. Possessing advanced wave light technology, these expeditions extracted some substance from within the planet itself. But this substance had a very great ability to change the DNA of living beings. It was this substance that contributed to the alien beings acquiring the appearance of humans. This is not the only such burial, there are several more in different parts of the world. But this particular sarcophagus was found only because the security system malfunctioned and the sarcophagus became visible. This substance also affects people, which is why there are so many deaths among those who have touched the liquid in which the Tosolsky princess rested. The body can't withstand the rising vibrations, and it's fraught with a broken psyche dot. If this video gets 200 likes, I will shoot a sequel to this very interesting story about the discovery of the Tissel Princess. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.